Delighted now to be joined by Tom Dumoulin, winner of the 2017 Giro d'Italia and second overall this year, plus teammate Chad Hager. Now, before we talk to the guys, let's take a look at their best bits of this year's Giro. Well, guys, it looks like you've had quite the three weeks. Tom, we'll start with you. We're, we're here in Rome, you're second on GC. Can you try to sum up your emotions, try to put into words the kind of feeling you have right now? Um, happy and proud uh, that we made it <laughs> until Rome. Uh, no, uh, uh, yeah, the second place is just really nice and uh, a, a bit of a confirmation uh, from for what happened uh, last year with the win um, and uh, yeah I'm just really proud of of the team of of myself of everyone yeah is it bittersweet at all or are you completely comfortable with the fact that you left everything out there yeah, yeah I'm completely comfortable with it I have no regrets I tried everything and uh, I raised my heart out through three weeks and uh, yeah, if then somebody is stronger than that's it. And you were by far the most consistent rider, I think, by, by all accounts, not just here within the team, but sort of journalists, pundits alike, named you as the most consistent. Is that for you confirmation and, co and consolidation as well, that last year's win wasn't a one-off? You are mm -hmm. a Grand Tour contender, you know, year in, year out. I guess so, at least the uh, last few years. <laughs> and Chad, for you as well, what's this Giro been like? I, it's, it's been amazing. Uh, it, last year was incredible to, to support Tom and have him win, and then to come here with with more focus on the team because he was a, a favorite from the start this time, and and to really have the goal like okay, we're we're coming here with the goal to win again is uh, it forced us to really focus the whole time, and, and we did everything we could in the best way possible. And Tom, for you as well, I know Chad and your team have worked tirelessly. Can you live with the fact that you came second to Chris Froome? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like I said, uh, I'm I'm just happy and proud of what we did the the last three weeks, and uh, uh, we did everything right. We made no mistakes, and we 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 fought until the end. And uh, yeah, like I said, if, if then it turns out a bit there's one rider better, then so be it. Yeah, and then that's it. <laughs> you can't win them all. And, and Chad, for you, I know for a fact you like coffee. Yeah. I say like, I think <laughs> love, pretty passionate yeah, I, about. I, Talk I, to me about this obsession because it's a, I, it's a bike rider thing, but you seem into it. I don't know that it's an obsession, but it's <laughs> it's definitely an outlet, something to enjoy aside from racing. And we we travel so much, and sometimes the the hotel coffee is terrible. And so I found that you know you can make life that little bit better. And and you know we have a, a fair bit of free time off the bike and. And being an early riser that it, with you know late starts here at the Giro, then I, I have a fair bit of time. So I like to to have a, a nice cup of coffee here in the mornings. And then, uh, yeah, at home, Tom gave us a, a fantastic gift from last year's Giro. And so now I, uh, the coffee at home is even better. And you said you're an early riser. Who, who do you normally room with? And do you irritate them by waking up so early? <laughs> <laughs> well, generally I'm pretty quiet regardless of who I, okay. I am with. So when I, when I get up, I kind of shuffle out quietly. But uh, uh, I'm often with Laurens and he's also up early. And uh, But this year we've shuffled around a bit and uh, we made it work uh, wherever and with whomever. And you've been playing the piano during the Giro as well. Uh, I've just, heard the cheeky hotel reception yeah, rumors. Only once. Mm. Uh, Did you hear it, Tom? What did you think? No, I, I didn't. <laughs> I heard it before no, already. I, I, uh, I don't remember which hotel it was or which <laughs> stage, but... Uh, yeah. And were you able to do, do you feel, everything you could on the road to help Tom to where he is today? Yeah, I can tell you, as slow and horrible as I felt today, that I, <laughs> <laughs> I gave everything I could for Tom. And Tom, the love from the Italian fans has just been incredible. How many selfies do you reckon you <laughs> yeah. have taken or been in this oh, Giro? I counted them and it's like... <laughs> 
2000, no. <laughs> uh, a, lot. a lot, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I love the Italian fans, they're really uh, respectful um, to anyone. So whether you're Dutch, British, uh, Italian, or they all cheer for you. And uh, uh, that's something I have seen differently in other races. So uh, it's, it's really nice to be in Italy and uh, to be cheered on uh, whoever you are. And the love as well from the Italian fans, did that give you extra motivation and added energy each day? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm mostly racing for, for the team and for myself, but uh, it's very nice to see when uh, people love what you do. And uh, I love what I do, but it's also very, very helpful and, and, and cool to see that, that others uh, love that as well. And, uh, um, respect that and uh, yeah, that, that definitely gives some motivation. And can you sum up and put into words, both of you, what it's like to actually work towards an overall win in a grand tour as a team, what it takes from each individual? Uh, I, I could say for me it's been a season-long build and, and focus with every race I did and every, every training session I did was to be at my best here at the Giro and, and that's for every rider here and uh, I think we all managed that well and, and resulted in, uh, in a great performance from Tom. And Tom, for you as well? Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it's, it's been, uh, it's, it's hard work to be at your best at the Jira, or to try to be at your best, of course. Um, and then here I'm, I'm trying to enjoy it as much as possible when I'm here, um, because this relaxed feeling gives me also the most, uh, uh, yeah, it, it, it works the best for me, but it's it's sometimes also very stressful. So um, th that is also what I. It's it's super stressful three weeks for me, but uh, I'm I'm always happy when it's over. But it, I I love doing it. Yeah. And we saw Chad's passion for making coffee as well, and mm. knowing that he gets up every morning and really takes time over it. How much caffeine have you <laughs> taken in to get you through the last three weeks? Not a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really, really impressive how little he's had. Uh, it's, uh, not a coffee my, man. Uh, uh, I'm normally a coffee man, but uh, yeah. I try to refrain myself from it. You can, uh, you can really fry yourself too. if you over uh. overindulge in the coffee. Uh. It, over three weeks, the body just gets so tapped <coughs> out with the adrenals, and he's managed it really uh. impressively. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I usually, yeah, in a grand tour, I usually don't drink coffee. Oh gosh, <laughs> I'm shocked. Okay, Chad, um, fans from home, obviously, time difference, time zones, everything, it must be quite difficult. Have a lot of your friends, family, and also generally American bike fans been following the Giro? Uh, yeah, there's actually uh, a new cycling publication, uh, Flow Sports, that's uh, been broadcasting live and with the replays, so it's... It's made the Giro uh, much more accessible for fans at home, and they've really taken to it. And so I think the, the viewership in the U.S. has gone up uh, for the Giro this year. And for both of you, um, what's next? What are you going to do? First thing you're going to do at home, and then also further afield, what's next on the horizon? Uh, for me, uh, tomorrow night is, is burgers and uh, just <laughs> re relaxing uh, for a while to fully recover from this. And then uh, Nationals is my next race. Tom, for you? Uh, also, just some relaxing days at home with good food and uh, playing with my dog. And <laughs> what <laughs> just, dog do you uh, have? A white shepherd, oh, a lovely. big one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that sort of stuff. Yeah. And then beyond that, racing for you? Uh, probably the tour, but uh, Tour de France, but we're not sure yet. Uh, we decide in the coming two weeks somewhere. And um, Otherwise, just nationals. And I know it's and been hammer series. A hammer series coming Friday. Already. That'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's really soon for <laughs> you. Yeah. For you. Um, yeah. Now I know it's been an incredibly tough three weeks. It's been pretty brutal by all accounts. This this Giro. Is there something you'll miss though from the Giro? I'm sure there's relief. It's over, but it's been a very close knit three weeks within the team as well. I I'm going to miss a lot of things. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's something really special what we're doing here or what we did here. Uh, not only result-wise, but I mean, this sort of a weird lifestyle that only a few of us get to experience. Um, and uh, yeah, that's something I'm going to miss. Yeah. Chad, for you? Oh, we, we really, I mean, we're grateful.
great friends uh, within the team already, but uh, spending better part of a month together really builds camaraderie and you, know, you build a bond with the staff and the riders here and so it'll uh, be sad and kind of awkward and weird to leave them uh, for a while and not see them anymore for until uh, whatever race down the road. And we've got a couple of questions from the fans as well. Um, Tom, starting with you, what is your best memory of the Giro? Uh, I would say my best memory is the the TT win on Thursday, uh, winning in the World Championships jersey, taking the pink jersey. That was quite a special day. And Chad, for you from Nienka, I really hope I've said that right as well. Um, what's your oversimplified report of the entire Giro? Oh, I gave that already on Twitter. <laughs> okay, you have it to give was, it again. Uh, uh, best I can remember was uh, remarkable. No. Yeah, remarkable guy does lap of Israel and Italy and only manages to beat uh, last year's top guy by not even a minute, uh, something along those lines. Yeah. Pretty much sums <laughs> it up. Chad, Tom, thank you so much for joining us and for entertaining us over the last three weeks.